The question is that the motion be agreed to. I call Chris Farfoy. Thank you very much, Mr Speaker, for the opportunity to speak to the third reading of this arms military style. Uh, semi-automatic firearms and import controls amendment bill. Mr Speaker, um, yesterday in the general debate the police minister uh, took an opportunity to disagree with me on a number of things uh, police portfolio related uh, and I respect, her, I respect her right to do this in this house and I look forward to uh, continue to disagreeing with her on a number of issues around police uh, related matters over the next couple of years but I think one thing that we will agree on Mr Speaker is the safety of our uh, frontline police officers. Um, and one, uh, one issue uh, in this uh, piece of legislation that we are uh, debating today will, uh, I think, take uh, some serious steps towards ensuring the safety of our frontline police officers, and that is uh, the provision that will um, restrict the importation of air guns that have the appearance of the real thing. Um, because as the uh, Minister uh, said in her contribution to uh, the debate earlier on, that uh, there is at least one incident a week where something that is an imitation of uh, a military-style semi-automatic or a pistol is being presented and uh, our police officers are forced to escalate that incident um, and usually it um, means the calling out of our armed defender squad. Um, serious resources um, and of course um, they have to take those call-outs very seriously because they don't know whether um, the uh, firearm or the pretend firearm that has been presented is the real thing and could cause harm to uh, members of the public, the people who are uh, brandishing the weapon, uh, or of course uh, the police officers involved. And uh, police officers uh, um, uh, hold a, an occupation, or, um, and it's not just a job, uh, that very few in our country have. They go to work every day, uh, uh, full of, uh, fully knowing that uh, they could put themselves uh, in serious danger, uh, and that uh, in the um, case of uh, I think at least 81 police officers here in New Zealand they could pay uh, the ultimate price so um, I think in terms of restricting the importation of um, these look-alike weapons, these weapons that um, look like um, uh, military style weapons and pistols I think that that uh, issue in this uh, legislation is one uh, that is very good in terms of uh, protecting our frontline officers. So, in that respect, um, we will have one point uh, of agreement uh, in this uh, piece of legislation that the uh, Minister uh, and I can agree on. Because, as I say, 81 officers in New Zealand uh, have paid the ultimate price uh, serving their communities, and on October the 1st uh, this year, we did uh, commemorate um, those fallen officers. Um, this bill does define what a military style semi automatic um, firearm is, um, and I'm not a firearm. Enthusiast, um, just out of nature of not being um, around them when I was growing up, but um, essentially uh, the definition of a military style semi automatic now is uh, a firearm that uh, has a magazine and, if it e and it ejects a cartridge uh, and then loads another cartridge into the chamber uh, uh, and has 10 to or 15 cartridges in that uh, magazine. That is now and has a pistol grip, sorry, that is now a military-style uh, semi-automatic rifle. So those at home, and I'm sure Richard Prosser uh, will have something more to say in much greater detail, and himself being a, a, a gun enthusiast, uh, will, will, um, will elucidate the rest, of the rest of the House about exactly what this means. But um, that is the new definition of uh, what a uh, MSSA is under this legislation, and as the Minister said, it does clarify for the uh, many gun enthusiasts out there in the community as to what an MSSA is now. Um, we also did want to point to the regulations, regulation making power uh, in the legislation that we're debating today, because there was some concern at the, um, at the Select Committee. Uh, and this went through the Law and Order Select Committee, which I sat on, but in the previous Parliament. There was some um, uh, concern uh, from those who submitted to the Select Committee around that this, the regulation, regulation making power gave police too much power in defining what um, these MSSAs are. Um, but I think it's good that the, the bill has been amended to make sure that there, um, there is a time frame in which a subordinate legislation has to be um, passed through this House for making any new regulations um, come under actual legislation within this House. And um, this, was, uh, uh, this legislation was of great interest um, uh, at the Select Committee stage. I understand there are uh, over 250 uh, submissions, uh, 71 people were heard in person, um, and I guess when you think there are nearly a quarter of a million uh, people holding firearm licences out there, that doesn't really uh, surprise us as to the level of interest uh, that this um, uh, bill has created. Uh, Mr Speaker, um, another aspect of this bill uh, that we think is a positive thing is that it, there's a dispute 
around the classification of a firearm. So if someone's brought something in and they think it, uh, it, that it passes the test uh, and uh, a police force or those who are looking at the, the firearm uh, disagree, um, that firearm owner can go, can go to the district court uh, and, and launch an appeal to um, question whether or not that classification uh, of that firearm is valid. And I think that is, is a positive move given uh, the serious concerns um, that the uh, firearm owners had at the select committee process. I actually did sit on one um, sitting of, the, of this bill in the last parliament and uh, it was uh, full of gun enthusiasts who were very, very concerned about that point uh, indeed. Um, as I said, I'm not a, a firearm owner, um, but as I said before, um, there are nearly a quarter of a million firearm licence owners in New Zealand, so we know that um, the, the responsible ownership of firearms is a very, very important to many Kiwis, and I think uh, that the, through the select committee process some changes have been made to, I hope, allay the fears of a lot of the gun enthusiasts out there who thought that they may get caught up in this, and the fact that the um, sporting use of firearms, or whether or not they're out hunting with these firearms, may be affected by this, but I do hope I hope um, that, the, that the, through the select committee process we have had the ability to allay the fears of those people who are worried about what this parliament was doing. Um, there was uh, one bone of contention um, uh, from the Labour Party perspective uh, at the select committee stage and that was around the establishment of an independent reference group. Um, it was something that uh, we offered up as, to, as a bit of a safeguard to some of those concerns that the um, firearms owners uh, had at the time. Um, but we understand that uh, the, the view of the committee was that it was out of scope and that the police were actually doing um, some, some of their own work to establish uh, an arms advisory group. And that's one thing that we have mentioned at the uh, second reading stage, I believe, that we're hoping to keep a close eye on, that the police do follow through on that work, because we do think there needs to be some expert advice given to the minister and also to the police around uh, some of the changes uh, to the technology, and it's rapidly changing, uh, especially when you're looking at uh, introducing regulations swiftly around the changes in technology uh, around police. Um, but I just wanted to finish, Mr Speaker, in saying that, you know, that, that aspect of the bill around the restriction of importation of, of lookalike weapons, I think, is very, very important uh, to our frontline police officers uh, and also to resourcing, because, as I say, as the Minister said, one incident a week uh, where uh, a lookalike weapon has been presented uh, and uh, the police are escalating it into a serious uh, issue is one too many, uh, and we definitely support the... Uh, the, um, the, the um, the part of the bill that uh, restricts the, the, the importation of those look-alike weapons. So uh, we do support this bill. Call Michael Woodhouse. Mr Speaker, I get the feeling...